I just made a hole in my door. And why would I do that? Hey everyone, it's going to be 31 degrees in Melbourne today. It's going to be 39 degrees tomorrow. It's hot and sticky and miserable. It gets even hotter, even though Melbourne's on the south side, which is the cool side of Australia. It gets up to 44 degrees sometimes. And in fact, sometimes we've had that multiple days in a row. It gets really sticky and horrible. So towards the end of last year for my office, I was starting to get hot and sticky already. I got this portable air conditioner that I installed, um, plumbed in, replaced the window with a block of wood, whole lot of other stuff going on here. I've got another video about that. Remember, my bits. There's a second venting option. So the first venting option, this one in here, that kind of goes into a sliding window type setup. And this one here is for uh, making a hole in the door, or hole in the whatever. So I figured I'd install this one in our laundry, which is near the bedrooms. Then I've got a portable air conditioner with two holes in the house, so I can put it in one of two places. All right, let's go make some holes in the door. And today I want to show you my tip on how to make two identical holes on either side of a hollow wooden door. And also I'll have a look at those plastic nozzles that you get on the silicon cartridges and they always get clogged up. My way of dealing with that, I'd love to know your way too. Welcome to the laundry. There's the care flap and that's where the hole's gonna go. So I'm gonna remove the care flap at some point in the future. Not today, it's gonna to be getting a bit too warm for that. Um, but I will do that. I'll make another video out of that on how to You could just board it over, but I'm I, I like to do things cleanly So I'll create a video on how to get rid of the care flap, but today just going to create a hole um, I was thinking of maybe Destroying the joint. I was thinking of maybe um, Getting like a jigsaw or something But what I'm going to do is just drill lots of holes join them all together And then I've got a file that I'm going to use to just file off the edges and then we're going to silicon it in easy as that shouldn't take long Let's see how it goes All right, so this is the bit that goes in the door. And once that's in, we've got a cap to close it off. And this bit attaches to the, uh, the hose and goes straight in there, so we can remove that. So I'm gonna need to pencil off the sides, but one thing we need to bear in mind is there's gonna be a block of wood there somewhere. This, this door is hollow. Um, and so there's just uh, plywood on this side, another piece of plywood on the other side. We need to go through the whole thing. That's gonna be wider than the door. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drill a hole roughly in the middle of where I want roughly the centre to be and that way I should be able to see where the bit of wood is, work out where I can actually position this. So let's drill our first hole. Well I can't feel anything either side, so let's go out a little bit wider. Still can't feel anything. Try drawing these two holes together, see what we can find. Still can't see anything over there. All right, so that's how narrow it is. That's the, that's the edge of the wood there. Then we could go all the way up, but obviously we want. So we can come up to about here. Let's put the edge of this where that line there is. I'm just gonna score a bit of a line on this side, which means the other side would be there, which I think yeah, it's definitely nothing in the way there. Let's just make this a bit bigger and double check. So there is, um, so it's almost like the inside of, that's, is that focusing? It's probably not focusing, is it? There you go, learning how to use my camera. It's almost like the inside of cardboard. So there is a little bit of um, thin cardboard, uh, honeycomb almost type structure. Um, in that, but it's not going to be solid wood like the the, uh, the edge of the border there. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead, mark it out, uh, cut the hole, and fit it. Just felt a bit of resistance down here. Let's find what's going on in there. Right, we might need to move this whole thing up slightly. I didn't think that it would come this close to the bottom. Um, given that the cat flap comes down quite far, I suspect we can get through there. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we're good. It's just the cardboard compacting down there. Let's keep going. The first one out, and you can see I've already gotten halfway through the other side already. So let's uh, just clean this up a little bit. Doesn't quite fit because I haven't quite come to the lines, so let's just clean this off. Beautiful. So it's not the most perfect fit. I mean, there's a tight action, to be honest, it's not that bad. Um, there's a little bit of wiggle room in there, but of course, we've got a little lip, so once that pushes all the way in, we'll be able to seat it off, we won't be able to see a thing. So now all I've got to do is get the hole through the other side so we can put the thing all the way through. You see this flat edge there, this it doesn't actually, um, I'm using the drill sideways to cut. Technically not the best way to use a drill, but it works on thin, weak wood like this. But right down at the bottom here we've got a part that doesn't cut, so I'm using that as a guide and running that flush along the, the edge here. It means that the drill it isn't going to cut the wood any further, but it gives me a guide to uh, drill the outside piece of wood. Do or not, I reckon that fits so snugly, I probably don't even need the silicon seal. I will anyway, just to hold it in place. But uh, I have to say I'm impressed. It went in a lot easier than I was expecting. What do you think of this, these things? Tell me in the comments whether you use them, or how you stop them getting clogged. I can never, like if I, if I use this now and I get the silicon inside here and I try and clean it out or I stick a nail in the end or whatever technique I've used to try and block these so that I can reuse it again next time, it never works. So what I generally do is I will use this the first time and then I will leave it on, I won't bother blocking it up and then in the future I'll just take this off and squeeze directly out of the top the way it's coming out right now, and then use this essentially as a cap. Is there a better way? Let me know. All right, well, I've got all of my fingers now, but that's fine, that'll come off. It's just rubber. This here is gonna take how long to, to dry? Um, cures in 24 hours. 24 hours. All right, we'll come back to this in, in less than 24 hours because I'm gonna to need to start cooling this place down. But you know, it's holding in place and also provide a bit of a better seal just against a little bit of air coming in and out, maybe in the future. Um, but in terms of attaching the hose, that's just attaching the hose onto this thing, plugging that in, it's gonna be hardly any kind of weight on there. The only other thing I need to do is drill a hole for the water hose. All right, I'll be back in a sec, just gonna clean my hands. All right. Got my hose. The um, the aircon unit came with one. It was about that long. It was never going to be long enough. So I picked up some from the local hardware store. And that way I can have one dedicated hose here, leave the other hose in the office. And then, uh, I don't know, leave this in so it plugs up the hole, even though it's a very long hole. But it's less likely that somebody's going to come through a tube than through a little hole in a door. I think. I don't know. I'm making all this up as I go along, really. So let's make a hole. I'm also going to put it at a bit of an angle so that the water drains out. Smart. That outside one went far too easily. I hope I haven't ripped a hole in it. Let's open the door and find out. Now, oh, well, it's the outside, it doesn't really matter, right? Let's see if I can clean this up a little bit. Note to self, I need a smaller file. The drill bit is not really the right tool for this job. But, get the job done. And you know what? At some point in the future, I'm going to be finishing off the removal of this cat flap. You can see half of it's already removed. Just need to finish off. Once that's done, 
and I'll need to peel back some of this, clean it up and repaint the door anyway. So that's not an issue. Let's feed through the hose. All right, that'll do on that side. I'm just gonna quickly clean up, do a little bit of vacuuming, get rid of my mess. This here will dry off nicely soon and become that stopper that I mentioned. That'll be nice. All right, time to grab the aircon. So this part here unclips. And we'll just pull this slider over to close it off. Stops the animals getting in. This hose here should just pull out. It's, uh, it's a little bit of water in there, but that's all right. I'm just going to lean that up, stick that in behind there. And then this hose comes off. Somehow, it might be easier with two hands. Or the other hand. There we go. Easier to transport. Alrighty. Close that door, lock it off. So the other thing that I probably want to do is I'm going to find out how far over towards the door I can get it. So I don't want to cool the whole of this room down. The outside of the laundry here, we've got a little corridor that connects two bedrooms, and that's what I'm trying to cool down. So what I really want to do is get this as close to that door as possible, bearing in mind that I don't want the hose. I've just realized this, uh, this has been dripping all the way through the house. There's water here. I don't see any on the floor over there though. So. Hopefully it hasn't actually gone everywhere. I'll sort that out later. There is actually a, um, a plug that comes with this, which is still in my office. I probably should have put that on. But there we go. That's life. So if I cut the hose here, then we've still got a bit of a downward trend there for the water to escape. If I take this further away again, then at some point we're going to start seeing a bit of a dip. And as this dips, the water is not going to carry all the way out. So I'm going to start long. I can always just push that out further as well through the door if I want to. I'm going to start long, I think probably about here, which puts the aircon unit kind of halfway in the room. So let's cut this here. And this literally just pushes in. There's no thread to hold it in. It's fairly secure. And remember, there's only going to be a tiny trickle of water coming out anyway. It's not a flow. Um, yeah, so now we just need to attach this bit back on. And that should just hook in like so. And then this part that came with the unit that goes into the door, this basically just clips on like so. And then we can open this and plug this in somehow. I notice while I'm doing this that the outside here is moving. So I'm putting a bit too much strain on this already. But you know what, that for now is good enough a fit for um, for the air to get out. Again, it's not a it's it's not a, a high velocity of air. So we now have the aircon unit here connected by both the water and the air outlets. Um, stick in some power. Power on. That's some nice cool air coming out of there. All right, so this is now gonna blow into this corridor, the bedroom over here, not a bedroom over there, and it's gonna keep us nice and cool. And tonight, we might actually need it tomorrow. We're definitely gonna need it. So, I guess I better pack everything else away now. I've been nursing a coffee throughout most of this. It's pretty cold now. It's still a bit warm. It's good. I wonder whether this is kind of a metric that I should have in my videos. How cold is my coffee at the end of it? Or do I even have any left? Most likely, how cold is it? Is it? I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. 
because it's uh, one more week of holidays for school. And the 14 year old will be doing work. She's got an assignment to do next week and she would normally be in her room doing that. I would be in this room with the aircon on, but I don't think her room's gonna be very nice tomorrow. So we might need to find an array of fans to blow cold air into her room or set her up in the lounge or something. I don't know, we'll work that one out. But generally, it now means I can move the aircon in here during the day, move it out there during the evening, cool the bedrooms down and we'll be sweet. I'm happy with the way it's turned out. I'm definitely gonna call it a day on this video though. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Hello again. I was just multi-taskedly, multi-handedly tasking, multi, I was carrying lots of things as I was walking back to my office and then I found this. You see that? That's uh, just one of the leaks I found so far.